Are you ready? Are you sure? For music trivia, three rounds in store. It's head to head. Who's going to walk? Are you ready to settle the score? I said, Are you ready to settle the score? Well, here we are on our brand new show called Settle the Score. I'm your host, Matt Nose, and I will be joined each and every week by the man on the keys, the true talent on this show, <laughs> Mr. Andy Merriweather. How are you, buddy? I'm good. Thanks, you, Matt. How are you? Not bad. How is everything in England? Uh, it's good. Yeah. Weather is uh, against type. We had a good day, so all good here. <laughs> yeah, We're not locked down too badly, so yeah, I'm sure a bit better than over there uh look today is gorgeous it's like mid 70s and then in three days uh the temperature is supposed to jump 30 degrees so it's but supposed to be you, low hundreds can you leave the house to enjoy enjoy <laughs> no low hundreds <laughs> no. i will be huddling next to the ac still sweating uh it's gonna right. be a fun day it's gonna be a fun day um all right so this is our new show called settle the score what it is is it's movie based music trivia so our two competitors that we'll be bringing in, in just a second are guessing the movies for every question and we give them a little context clue and then uh, Andy plays the song on the on the piano there and then they guess and we're just tallying up and the overall person with the most points at the end ends up winning it um i think that's the general explanation of this anything else you think we should add um no just that, you know, if I play a bum note, it's purely to pass by copyright, that kind of thing. You know, it's not, <laughs> yeah. big, not inability. Just to get it. Well, I think, I think we're okay. We're on falling under parody law. And also you're doing a cover. So it's not <laughs> like we're playing the actual produced studio version. So I think we get mm. away with it. Okay, and, cool. uh, yeah, we're just here, uh, two guys that enjoyed each other's company and working together. And we're like, you know what? Let's have fun and bring in some other people that uh, that like movie trivia and to turn it into a little fun game show to do week in, week out. And we yep. have two people joining us on our inaugural vo voyage here, Mr. Mark Andrago and Mr. Mark Riley. Gentlemen, how are we? Hello, guys. I'm, I'm well. I love this idea, guys. And it, of course, I've met you, Andy. I can't believe that we haven't even talked uh, uh, across the Facebooks and in, in, I don't know, how long now, man? Yeah, yeah. It's been a I while. just realized um, it. <laughs> yeah. I think we we met in Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. About yeah. almost a year. Well, about uh, more than a year yeah. ago. Yeah. Where Andreka was as well. Yeah. Oh, we that's like where, I, where I beat you, right? Yes, when you beat me in the movie <laughs> trivia schmodown, Mark. Uh, good. Bring in that. Andreco, uh getting a little cocky. I like it. Out the box right there. Already. <laughs> Already. Yeah. And uh, Riley is appearing to drink urine. That looks terrible. What is that? <laughs> It's a, uh, it is a, uh, well, it's urine. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Get those electrolytes in, you know, natural. It's, 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 it's exactly what it is. <laughs> electrolytes uh, and, uh, and all the, and all the rest. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So I am, um, you know, to buzz in, you'll have to call out your name. Do you guys want to, you can go by Andreco and Riley to make it easier, but Andreco, you do get an extra syllable there. So we could even shorten that down to C and K if you guys would prefer to do that. <laughs> I'm fine. Either way, I could say Either Riley way. pretty fast. I've been doing it for years. Um, all right. Your choice, gentlemen. Your choice. Right. Um, okay. As discussed in the, the beforehand, Riley will be choosing first in the first round. It is a random smattering of songs. Uh, it's a ordered one through five. And what Andy will do is play the song. And basically, we go until you guys uh, figure it out. Or if you don't, then we will reveal the name of this or the movie that it's from. And you're always guessing the movie itself, not the song. So don't even sweat not knowing the song titles. Uh, that is not the concern on this. It's just guessing what movie that song is from. Uh, and then after whoever gets it right, has the opportunity. There's a bonus question. We'll explain that when we get to it. So, Riley, you have your choice. Random numbers, one through five. Where would you like to start? What number? Number three. Number three. Gentlemen, okay. Your context clue for number three in this opening round is watch your debt explode. Watch your debt explode. Andy, take it away.
any clue, gentlemen. My God. I, I mean, I'm, I'm almost there, but... Oh. It's familiar, but I don't have any idea. Okay. Oh. All right, three, two, one. No guesses? That is the end of Fight Club when they're watching all the credit card companies. I knew it was Fincher. It was around social network. (laughs) Oh, nice. A stumper right out of the gate. Damn. All right. Yeah. Maybe I just played it terribly. (laughs) Yeah. No, you played it beautifully. I didn't notice. So that's fine. (laughs) Uh, Riley, you can still control. Uh, What do you want? One, two, four, or five? Uh, Let's go two. Okay. Number two. Your context clue is... Bicycle rides with your best friend's girl. Bicycle rides with your best friend's girl. Andy, let's hear that sweet music. Andreco. Andreco. Uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Yeah. That is correct. Damn it. Just want to play a little bit more of that sweet, sweet music. That's sweet, sweet music. All right. So, Andreco, the way the bonus points uh, work, you already know, but I'll tell for the audience. You have a choice. You can choose to answer this by yourself, and you'll either win five points or you will lose five points uh, no matter what. Or you can open it up to where you and both Riley can have the opportunity. Nobody will lose any points, but Riley could gain five points on you and cut into that 10 to nothing lead you have accumulated thus far. What would you like to do? Do you want to be a dick? Uh, no, question. I'll share it. I'll All share right. it. Really can't. I hope somebody is a dick. That's my whole. <laughs> that's the whole point of this. All right, your bonus question, and these always pertain to the movies themselves. In what country do they have their final shootout in? And Draco. Cap- and Draco. Bolivia. 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 The extra five points for and Draco. He's up 15 to nothing. And guess what? He gets control of the board at this point. You have three others now to choose from. One, four, and five. Uh, five. Five it is. Your clue for number five is Paul Williams, Swamp, Banjo. And Draco. And the, Drake. Muppet, the Muppet movie. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Was it the Paul Williams? <laughs> yeah. It was Paul Williams and then Swamp. It's uh, yeah. It's very specific. All right, in our test run that threw everybody off, and we were like, "All right." Well, we this is, by Andy, the way, go ahead an and play it because you learned the damn song. So, the saddest song ever. It is pretty sad. I was waiting oh. for somebody to sing. Oh, uh, well, we could have <laughs> done that. One of us can do a bad Kermit. Somebody's right, got to be able you, to do a bad Kermit. Riley, you uh, jumped in, and I thought, oh, I'll leave him to it then. <laughs> nah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Can't jump right. in. I'm not singing right now, man. Not yet. All right, Andreco, two questions left in this one. one I don't get a bonus four. question? You do get a bonus question. Welcome to the first show where I screw things up occasionally. Um, all right. Do you want to be a dick or not? Is my question. What's the score? It is twenty-five to nothing. I'll share it. I'll share. Yeah, what a geez. nice guy. Yeah. What a nice guy. You Thank son you of a f- bitch. Thank you for your scraps. Okay. Your bonus question is the uh, this was the first Muppet movie. What was the second? And Draco. No, Riley. And Draco. The Muppets Take Manhattan. That is incorrect. Oh, Riley. The Great Muppet Caper. That is correct. Riley's on the board. He's got five points. Uh, I'll take the five point. Thank you, Andreco. That was a scrap. <laughs> <laughs> it is now 25 to 20. Uh, Andreco, you still control the board since you got the last musical question. You've got number uh, one. Four. Got, okay, number four. Your context clue is in the 90s, who in the world owns their own sneaker factory? In the 90s, who in the world owns their own sneaker factory? Andy, go ahead and play that music. (laughs) 
that's Riley. Riley, go ahead. I mean, <laughs> sneaker factory. Sneaker factory. <laughs> Father of the bride, he owns a sneaker factory. That is correct. Yes. What is this? What was that song though? Is that the way uh, you look tonight? Just make, way yeah, we look tonight. Way tonight. Yeah. He's dancing that's with what his daughter because they use that in uh, my best friend's wedding as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. On that context clue, I think most people would have jumped to Jumanji. Oh yeah, sneaker factory. Um, but sneaker tonight, factory. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Nice context. Okay, I'll take it. All right. Now, do you want to be a dick or not, Mr. Mark Riley? Well, no. He's been nice so far. And, and so I, I know. Don't worry. We'll get there as we get closer. <laughs> we only have one option after this to do, be, be a dick or not. But maybe it'll be show two. You two are just too nice. Uh, yeah, we're too nice right now. Okay. Your bonus question is, Writer Nancy Myers has worked with Diane Keaton on four f films, including Father of the Bride. Name Draco. two others. Damn it. Draco. Go so, ahead. Uh, something, a uh, baby boom, and uh, something's got to give. That is correct. And there was also Father of the Bride 2. Father of the Bride 2. Wait. <sighs> and, no, that was just complicated. Never mind. All right. Well, we have one left in this round. Okay. And your context clue for this is the protagonist dies in the end, plain and simple. The protagonist dies in the end. Riley. So Riley. Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko is correct. That's been used in like 13 films. Yeah. I know. Well, That's a good one. The, the plain, plain and I was simple. Plain and plain simple. Plain and simple. <laughs> um, well, okay. Riley, you are down by five. It is 30 to 25. Yeah. Do you want to be a dick or not? Yeah, now I'm going to be a dick. There you go. To close that, and you chose it on the hardest bonus question possible. It's great. <laughs> okay. Empire Magazine listed Donnie Darko in their top 500 movies of all time. Oh, what number is it? I'll give it to you if you're within 20. 500? Yes. I'll give it to you if you're within 20. Empire Magazine listed it in their top 500 of all time. If you can get it within 20, I will give it to you. Let's put it at a nice, solid 250. That is incorrect. Damn it. You lose five points. They inexplicably put it at number 53. <laughs> what? Inexplicably put it at 53. Okay. <laughs> top 500 of all they, time. They, they really like their Donnie Darko. They love their Donnie Darko. That's uh, Richard Kelly on the choosing on the board. I, yeah. I have no idea because it's the only good movie he ever did. Once we're off the air, I'll tell you a, a urban legend about him about that movie that I believe is true. Oh boy! Okay. Uh, all right, that is very cryptic. I like that. <laughs> um, all right, so we're moving on to the second round. The second round is it's called you know five second song. So what happens is Andy will play the first five seconds. After I give you another quick clue, and then it's worth 10 points if you want to guess at that point. If he has to open and play the second five seconds, now it's only worth five points. Okay. If one of you elects to answer after the first five seconds and try to go for 10 points and gets it wrong, then the other person can guess right there, or they can hear the other five seconds and guess. They'll only get five points at that. But there are no, you won't lose. There's no subtraction of anything. So uh, you okay. just lose out on the opportunity to get any points. Um, awesome. All right, we are just going to start at the top, and we are going to work our way down. Are we ready? Ready. Okay. Your first context clue in round two of Five Second Songs is Acne Scars and a Vigilante team up. Take it away, Andy. Da -da 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 Riley. Oh, Draco. Riley. Riley. Forever. That is correct. Ten points to Mark Riley. But the question's wrong. 
Acne Scars and a Vigilante team up. He, Two Face doesn't team up with Batman. Acme. Acne Scars and Seal. <laughs> and, and Steel doesn't have acne scars. That's from lupus. So that whole question should be thrown out. <laughs> and uh, that's good to know. I will fact check these a little harder going forward. I thought those were acne scars. They are not. He, uh, <laughs> he, is, he has lupus. Well, you learn something new every day, as tragic as that is. Was that the bonus <laughs> question, Matt? Was no, that, that was bonus? just the context of what the lupus. <laughs> we'll change we'll that up. If it Fix comes out to time, Mark, I'll give you an extra point for lupus. <laughs> All right. I love that. Um, okay, the next one, your context clue, not a question, just a clue, is sailing on rocky waters. Sailing on rocky waters. Take it away, Andy. Honestly, I could go on and on. I could explain every natural phenomenon. The tide, Riley. the grass. The grass. Riley. Moana. Moana is correct. Maui's. Never that's, saw that's, that's good. You know, I got to thank my fiance for putting Moana on the TV screen every freaking day. So <laughs> It's your house is frozen? It's our house is frozen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she and, and, and surprisingly, she is not 10. So uh, it's, you know, she loves her Moana. But she's 10 at heart, and that's... She's that's 10 at heart, and I love it, and it just <laughs> got me some points, so, you know. <laughs> you never know where this knowledge is going to come from. <laughs> it's, it's strangely so. Um, all right, so now it is 40 to 30, Riley over Andreco. Your next one, the clue is child executive. Child executive. Andy, take it away. And Draco. And Draco. Yep. Big. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Uh, there we go. Damn it. It's all right. We're <laughs> knotted up at 40 apiece. All right. We have two questions left in this round. And your fourth and five second songs. The context clue is call me Miles Davis. Call me Miles Davis. Andy, please. Veronica, I thank you for beating the shit out of me. Riley. Riley. Billy Madison. <laughs> nice pull, Riley. Uh, I never saw that one either. Very good, Riley. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, yeah. uh, thank you for beating the shit out of me. Yep. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in fucking 15 years. I never would have been able to pull that one. Oh, it rang that sweet spot. I know it. It rang that bell. Well, Riley has now taken the lead 50 to 40, and we have one question left in this round. Your clue is one punch knockout. One punch knockout. Andy, play that tone soon. <laughs> Nothing from the two of you. We can play five more seconds. Five more seconds. I'll give you another context clue on this. Do you like dags? What? Do you like dags? <laughs> That's the best I can do. Take it away, Andy. Like Nothing from the two of you. Mm -mm. What, was, what was that context clue again? The second one? What, do you like Degs? Do you like Degs? <laughs> That's do you like Degs? <laughs> do you, either you want to take a stab at it, you're not going to lose any points. Dun, 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 dun. Three, two, golden brown. Da, ba, da, 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 da. Okay. It is from Snatch. Snatch. Oh, oh. okay. Well, yeah, uh, the one punch knockout. Yeah. Yep. And that's yeah. right when that song plays. And right before that is the, do you like Degs? Uh, I got, 
You like dogs. Yeah. Uh, Dicks. Uh, that's what I said. Dicks. Dicks. Yeah, that's that's my best okay. pikey. Uh, and it sucks. But, you know, I do what I can. I do what I can. Well, nobody got that one. No. So it is 50 to 40. Riley over on Draco. We are going into the final round, which is the wagering name that tune round. Uh-oh. Riley, you are in the lead, so you will get to wager first. The minimum wager that you can make is three notes. And in essence, in this one, for those uh, listening for the first time, is uh, we give the context clues, and then they bet back and forth as to who can name the song in the fewest amount of notes. If you guess it in three notes and up, you get 10 points. If you guess it in two notes, you get 15. If you guess it in one note, you get 20 points. And if you guess it in zero notes, you get 25 points. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. All right. Are we ready, Riley? For yeah. First. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. This, here's your context <clears throat> clue. This 2006 film has an all-star cast, but who's the rat? Who's the rat? All right, Riley, do you want me to read it one more time, or do you want to start wagering? I can do it in zero notes. <laughs> well, Riley has to technically open with three or hi- higher, but uh, it seems like a mere formality unless... I'll, I'll do... Uh, wait, do I wager? Yeah, I wager... You start us off. One note. Well, I'll do it in zero. Zero. Or no, no, I'll do zero. I got to do zero. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, technically, Riley, you have to start with three notes. And Draco's not supposed to jump in until it's... Okay, I'll, I'll start with three notes then. Okay. I'll do it in zero. He'll do it in zero. What is your guess, Mr. The Mark Departed. Parker? The Departed. God damn it. If we wrote like three different fucking context clues for that. <laughs> 25. Yeah. Andy, go ahead and play that while I tally the score, please. <laughs> Also uses the theme for Rizzoli and Isles on TNT. <laughs> That's nice. All right. So Andreco's racking up the bonus points, one for Lupus and one for Rizzoli and Isles. So you didn't know there were going to be bonus points on this, but <laughs> there we are. All right. Well, Andreco, okay, whoever's not... You know, wagering first, hold your wager and turn. No problem. Um, it's a pilot episode. There's going to be glitches. There's going to be there glitches. Are, there are going to be glitches. <laughs> Easy day for me. <laughs> right. Um, okay. So the next one, Andreco, since you got the last question right, you'll be starting the wagering off on this one. Your context clue is this movie was released in the early to mid 90s. Shit happens. This movie was released in the early to mid '90s. Shit happens. All right, and Draco, you can start us off with the way uh, three, three notes. Three. Okay, three. Riley, do you want to tell him to name it, or do you want to guess fewer notes? I think I can do it in zero notes. I think you can do it in zero notes. Son of a bitch. Go go for it. Make these much much harder. Um, all right. Uh, well, I guess that is a name that tune situation. Riley, what is your guess? Forrest Gump. Motherfucker. That is correct. <laughs> the shit happens, man. I know, but it's what else do you say? R- running and ping pong? Like I've wrote so many. Andy, if you'd have done chocolates, it. ping pong, anything. Girlfriend right, yeah. dies of AIDS. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we wrote it down. <laughs> Play it, because I love the Forrest Gump song. That's beautiful. But you guys are too good. I made these too easy, apparently. <laughs> so we don't get to do the damn tunes. Gotta make contact proofs infinitely harder, apparently. Um, all right. Well, 
<laughs> Riley, you got that one. You get to get you get to to open the wagering on this. Okay. Um, your clue is I'm gonna cut out half of it and just give you a Doug is a man's best friend. A okay. Doug is a man's best friend. You get to open. <laughs> He's um, got it. How many notes? <laughs> You can guess it in zero notes. <laughs> you, you have to start with three. So now here starts the gameplay. Do you want to go higher to force Andreco to try and figure out in his head? Okay, so if I go higher than three? Three yeah. is the minimum. You can guess how many of her notes you want to. Okay, so if I guess what? So to make him work for it, what do I do? Whatever you want, but if you know it in, I mean, I don't okay. know if he knows it or not. Probably won't. So he, so one note, he won't get it at all. But, but yeah, true. But three is the minimum you can guess or open the, the wagering with. Okay. So, uh, but I'm, I'm going to do one. Okay. But three is the minimum. You <laughs> oh, but three. three. Okay. okay. I'll do three. Three. Okay. And Draco, do you want to tell him to. I can do it zero. Damn it. Ah, he was holding off on you. Son okay. of a shit. It's up. It is up. <laughs> Go ahead and play it again, motherfucker. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. Oh, and Draco, right. nice. <laughs> I wrote it. I, Andy, I'm going to skip to number five. We'll come back. We'll close on four because in the context clue, I don't think they could just guess it outright on this one because we left this one vague as fuck. So, <laughs> <laughs> Draco, uh, you uh, you will opening the oh, you'll open the wagering on this, and if if either of you guesses, I'm going to throw my mouse through the screen and peg you right in the crotch. <laughs> don't okay. give him the yeah. I'm not going to. Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> we even changed. We changed up. We changed Forrest Gump. We changed. We changed all of them to even more harder context clues. Doesn't matter. <laughs> apparently, doesn't matter. Okay. This movie came out within the last decade. I'll give you that. It a boy, a girl, and a legend. This movie came out in the last decade. A boy, a girl, and a legend. And Draco, you start the bidding. Exactly. I like that furrowed brow on Mark's face. That is exactly what I want to see right now. It's How exactly the same look he had on up, unfortunately. <laughs> That's his game face, though. That was poker yeah. face. How a many boy, notes? a girl, and a legend. Correct. Three is the minimum. You could say as many as the entire song, if you so chose. Uh, I'll say three. It ballsy. Interesting. Back to you, Riley. Do you want to try and go for two notes? Or do you want to tell him to name that tune? Ooh. He's in deep, ponderous thought here. Uh, so top. he'll have to name it in three. He'll have to name it, or you can say... I'll do it in two, two, and then it goes back to him, and then he has to decide if he wants to try for one or zero, or tell you to let's, name it. Let's see him name it. Name it in three. Finally, the game is being played <coughs> intended. Three notes to you, Mr. Mark Andreco. Let's see mm -hmm. if you can get this. There were your three notes. Can I get that one more time? Nope. You only get it for one. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Had you guys not walked away with the first questions, I would have said yes to that. <laughs> but I want to see someone struggle <laughs> in this final fucking round. Yeah, I don't know. He doesn't know. There is no chance to steal on this one. Andy, go ahead and play the rest of it. Oh, damn it. It's, um... Oh, it's fucking La La Land. La La Land. <laughs> the look of this on Andreco's face. Ugh, I'm glad I didn't get that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Moana. Nice clue, Moana. though. The legend is a good is a good red herring. 
Exactly. I, I was thinking of some cartoon where the kids met the t Tooth Fairy or some Santa Claus. That's where I was going to. I'm like, dragons? Is it, a, is it a Sasquatch? Is it a vampire? Apparently, okay. I need to make all the rest of these you know, clues in Sanskrit to throw you guys off. That's <laughs> the only way. Otherwise, all right, your final question and your context clue is this movie debuted almost 20 years ago. But the song wasn't played live at the Oscars until 2020. So, Andreco, you get to. Oh, I, I, I know it. I know this. I know this. Up, oh, you got to start with three notes. Uh, I guess three. Okay, three. Riley, back over to you. Do you want to say two notes? Or you want to tell them to name that tune? Two notes. Andreco, back over to you. Name it. Okay, two notes to Riley. Andy, give us those two notes. Mm. <laughs> Damn it. I'll give you a countdown here. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I can't get it. Okay. Damn it. Draco, even though you can't get the points, what's your guess? Now I was thrown by those two notes, so I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bite my. I'm gonna hold it. But you're not gonna lose <laughs> any points. You just want to take a stab at I it. I thought it was the it's the Eminem song from uh, Eight Mile. Lose yourself. That is correct, Andy. Go ahead and play that. Yeah. 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 Damn it. Good pull, Draco. Well, that was the final question. Damn it. We have a clear winner by a scant amount of points, but Mr. Mark Andreco takes our inaugural game 90 to 75. Congratulations, oh, wow. Andreco. You Thanks. son of a, you son of a, well done, sir. I really, we got to fix that final round between Andy and I. We got to fix that final round. <laughs> uh, well, do you, gentlemen, did you enjoy yourselves on our pilot episode? <laughs> yeah. Four? Absolutely. Thank you so much. What do I uh, win? I, I want to. I want to be. I want to come back. I. I, okay. I can beat. I can beat Andreco. I know <laughs> I can beat you, dude. We want a grudge match on this. It's not a problem. We can set it up for a couple months from now. You, you know what the back. definition of insanity is? Repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting <laughs> a different result. I'll do it. I'll do it here. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> it's great. That that feels like the definition of 2020 is uh yeah, <laughs> right. Living in insanity mm. over and over and over again. Uh well, gentlemen, our thanks to the two of you for uh playing on this first episode. Thank um, you so much. Riley, uh, um, anything you'd like to say before we close this down? Uh that was fun, guys. Seriously, I would like to come back and I would like to try to beat Mark and Draco again, or I'd like to beat anybody you put in front of me. <laughs> okay well we will try and make it just a little bit tougher on the next yeah one. yeah yeah i like that uh, yeah <laughs> the clues were harder up top when i thought those were going to be easier anyway and draco uh just vote everybody go vote vote early if you can drop it yep. off uh I, I i don't know what your fan base is like for this show but people this is no time to screw around <laughs> you got to get out there and vote and you got to vote for everyone mm. exactly well at the very least vote for i mean just be an active no, vote on behalf of everyone vote for the betterment is the world is, are we four years four years into this are we better than we were before <laughs> look out your window you, you decide yes, go fucking vote <laughs> uh, well yeah, so I echo all those sentiments. Uh, and at the very least, just be part of the political process, whatever you end up voting. But the more people voting, the better it is because we'd all be more informed. Um, and uh, Andy, thank you. And so the choices for in voting are not as hard as some of these clues were. <laughs> <laughs> if only there were context clues on the ballot. Oh, that's okay. That's good. We're, to know. we're living a context clue, my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, we're some people one are giant context clue. <laughs> Um, well, Andy, uh, I, I a fairly successful first show. Yeah, I got to play a little bit. 
but mostly is reveals. But it is, <laughs> I think I'll learn less of everything next time. Yeah, but no, yeah. it, was, it was really good. Obviously, well, sure, we knew well, we had. Go on. Yeah, I was going to say, well, next week, uh, I you know, we have three fine competitors in the Wangers, but I don't know if they're of the same caliber yeah. of movie trivia and knowing music and all that is yeah, these we, two fine gentlemen who joined us today. We knew we had some top level movie trivia talent. So um, <laughs> the context yeah. clues, watch the context clues. Yeah. Watch the context <laughs> clues. <laughs> Final round, you pricks. That's <laughs> just flouting the rules because you know it before we can actually get to the, the meat of the entire show. Which is playing music. <laughs> Uh, well, we're good editors. We know how to just, you know, it just will get sure. you to the finish line faster. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on this first one. Um, I had a lot of fun. I hope uh, the two of you did and Andy did as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. It was a lot of fun. It was yeah, definitely. Thanks, guys. All right. Well, we will have you guys back on whether or not it's against each other or against new people. I guess that'll be between the two of you if you really want to square off again. But Riley has made his voice or his opinion known. Um, and we'll uh, we'll have you guys back. Thank you so much for doing it. Andy, it's good to see you. We'll be checking in. You. We'll be back next week with the, the Wangers. It uh, comes out uh, next Wednesday and every Wednesday. So we hope you enjoyed this first run of Settle the Score. And uh, that is it this week. Adios.